Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be working on our master bedroom closet again. We're working on expanding that and just completely redoing it. In one of the previous videos I've done, I've actually torn out the master bedroom closet and expanded it, basically combined two closets into one. And then in the next video, I built these custom drawers to go at the bottom of the closet to fit the space perfectly. We don't have a ton of space, so I wanted to optimize what we do have. And building that from scratch was the best way that I could do that. Now I'm gonna start building the top piece of this cabinet just to set down on top of the drawers that are already there. So I'll get started on that and show you how this all comes together. If you're interested in seeing how I got to this point so far with combining and expanding the closets and then building the custom drawers underneath, I'll leave the links to those videos at the end of this one. You can go check those out if you want.
Now the cabinet's just about finished. I'm gonna go upstairs and install this. But when I did that, I ran into a little bit of a problem. The cabinet was a little too tall, but I could fix this by removing the top of the cabinet and then removing that bottom board along the bottom. After doing that, it fit in here perfectly. Then I could just lift up the cabinet, screw the boards onto the bottom, lower it back down and put the top back onto the cabinet as well. With all the weight of the clothes on this, you definitely don't want something like this tipping over on you. So I'm gonna be sure to fasten these to the studs in the wall up top. And then along the bottom, I'm screwing this straight down into the cabinet below with the drawers right onto that countertop. So this isn't going anywhere. It's really sturdy, really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down, throw a quick coat of paint on here. Then I also need to add in the rods to hang all of our clothes in here. Now there's a saying that goes around, a little bit of glue and paint makes it what it ain't. If you make any mistakes, it's amazing what some putty, some glue, paint will cover up. So I'm just gonna go around here. This makes it look so much nicer. Instead of having any gaps up against the wall, around the trim, you can just come back with some caulking, make sure you fill in all those cracks. And if there's any imperfections on the plywood itself, gaps in the, in the wood, I'm gonna just fill that in with a little bit of caulking and it just makes it look so much nicer. Now that just about finishes up the video, the cabinet's just about done. I'm gonna let the caulking sit and dry for a few hours before putting in the clothes, but it's looking great already. And this is over double the space we originally had. Plus it's so much more usable than what we had originally. So if you haven't seen those other videos, go check those out. The drawers down below this cabinet are amazing. We absolutely love them. And because of those drawers, we've been able to remove any of the dressers we have in our room for storing our clothes. Now everything's in our closet and our room feels a lot bigger. In a future video, I'm planning on building some doors to cover up this closet and keep it neat. But for this video, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you made it this far in the video, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. A big shout out to all my supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for what you guys do and helping support the channel. If you're interested in supporting the channel, I'll leave the Patreon link down below in the description. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.